Hi friends, welcome. In the past few videos, we are understanding that how to create ledgers, how to create items and groups and also we discussed the virtual types in Tally Prime, right? So now in this video, all together will pass some real time practical transactions in Tally Prime. And again, I'm not going to use any GST related transactions in this. So first we will start with the basics. We try to understand the voucher recording procedure and report analyzing procedure in Tally Prime first and the later on in the upcoming sessions we will be understanding recording vouchers that including a GST, right? So let us have a look into the same. So you can see the problem number one, maintain book of accounts in the name of Mrs. Shweta computers, right? Now we have the problem here. Maintain book of accounts in the name of Mrs. Shweta computers, right? So I'm going to copy this, control C copy, right? Now the company name is that Vedanta Education. I would like to create a new company. So you can click on the company menu or else you also can click on here the F3 company. The, the both option you can access the same. Even in the company also there is an option called as create. Even if you go to company here also there is an option called as create company. Same both you can use. Right here I am going to click on create company. And it is your choice before creating a new company whether you like to delete this company or whether you like to shut this company it's your choice if you wanted to maintain two companies without shutting this company you can simply create a new company but if you don't want to access a uh, two companies first you if you want to shut this company just go to company and click on shut company enter then select the company that which you like to shut down that means we are not deleting we are just closing from this gateway that's it yes now there is no active companies on the screen so i am going to create a new company so here whatever you have copied to paste in tally press ctrl v it passed in tally we used to we we have a shortcut key ctrl alt c for copy ctrl alt v for paste but now in tally prime it has made a universal acceptable as ctrl c for copy and ctrl v for paste so i'm going to just press only ctrl v to paste and next one is that the mailing name same next address so while you are really practicing the you need to enter the proper addresses the state and the telangana i'm just going to save directly by pressing ctrl plus a so just now i have created a company in the name of Shweta computers and again I am not going to use any of the feature it's just a basic company we are not do working on building or branch phase or GST so I am not going to enable anything control your save right so we just created a company called as Shweta computers so let us start recording watches directly by using smart method yes we can create the ledgers and item by going to create and here we can create ledgers like purchase, sale, capital, rent, bank and we can create the products by going to stock item we can create like Dell computer, Dell keyboard, we can do that but we will create ledgers and item during the voucher creation directly right? by using the shortcut key Alt plus C so directly I am moving to vouchers in the voucher we can understand what is the first transaction and that is that capital invested in the business rupees 10 lakhs in the form of cash it means the business owner is giving a money to the business business owner is giving money to the business so we need to think in business point of view as a business as a business I am receiving the capital as a business I am receiving the capital so we are receiving right so pass a receipt voucher how we are receiving press spacebar to get the list so how we are receiving is it in the form of cash or is it in the form of bank in which form we are receiving it we are receiving capital but what is the form first that is cash so what is the current cash balance is zero if you open control plus n type cash 
the cash is having empty value there is no cash in company as of now so we are going to receive a capital again press space bar to get the list and click on into to close the calculator here space bar now we are receiving the capital on the account of cash so here what is a particular we are receiving cash on the account of capital e is a capital ledger is created if not you can simply click on create or else you also can press alt plus c to create a ledger what is the ledger name capital account under capital account that's it and directly control a save the business cash balance is zero the company cash the capital is being invested the rupees of total 10 lakhs now the updated cash balance is 10 lakhs in the narration you can write that being capital received or being capital invested by so and so the the ex person name we, we can enter then this is how we do so just now we have received a rupees of 10 lakhs in the form of cash so just press enter to save this voucher automatically system is giving a chance to pass a second receipt do we have a second receipt no what next cash deposited in sbi cash deposited in sbi so initially we have collected rupees total 10 lakhs from the owner in the form of cash out of 10 lakhs we have deposited rupees 5 lakhs in sbi who deposited shweta computers in whose sbi account in shweta computers bank account so here finally company is going to deposit in company's bank account so there is no lose there is no gain before depositing cash in the bank what is the balance what is the current assets of the company that is total ten, total 10 lakhs if you press alt f1 to get the digital report these 10 lakhs is available in the form of cash only so what is the total company assets is 10 lakhs in the form of form of availability is also cash right and again i'm going to the accounting voucher and the second transaction is that cash deposited in sbi account rupees 5 lakhs so this time 5 lakhs deposited in sbi so company is going to deposit in company's bank account so there is no lose and there is no gain so pass contra voucher so when you deposit cash in the bank which account is increasing sbi so here press space is the sbi account is created if not you again click on create or press alt c sbi so sbi account under bank accounts you need, you need to enter all the details later on control a save so now what is a bank balance available presently bank balance is zero so now what is the cash available cash availability is 10 lakhs out of this 10 lakhs we have deposited in bank rupees how much rupees 5 lakhs so that's it you can write the narration same copy and here you know these are all the uh, nominal things Control V pays because cash deposited in SBI account rupees 5 lakhs. That's it. And after recording the transaction, if you go to balance sheet and if you open current asset and press Alt F1 for the detailed report, we can see the total assets has not changed, but the internal book of accounts assets are changed. So cash on hand rupees 5 lakhs and the bank. 5 lakhs what is the total assets 10 lakhs before depositing a transaction the total assets of the company is 10 lakhs after depositing cash in the bank the same assets we have the 10 lakhs so where there is no lose and there is no gain will pass contra voucher like self self deposit self withdraw self bank transfer in the point of view of a company here self means company company self deposits company self withdraws company alternate account bank transfers so in these three cases will pass contra voucher next what we have cash paid for salaries rupees 10000 and rent 10000 so we pay total 20000 right so we can record the both in a single payment voucher we are paying right so pass a payment voucher how we paid in the form of cash sorry in the form of cash so what is the available cash right now 5 lakhs out of 10 lakhs we have deposited rupees 5 lakhs in sba bank account so the remaining cash availability is 5 lakhs out of this 5 lakhs we paid for 
salaries and rent so here is a salary ledger is created if not create salary salary is an expenditure so salaries comes under indirect expenses rupees 10000 in the next line again press alt c rent rent is an expenditure right so debit all expenses so this is an expenditure i'm creating rent sometimes rent might be your income so in that time you write rent credit so this time rent is a debit so debit all expenses under indirect expenses and here rupees for rent is 10000 so out of 5 lakhs of cash we are paying towards revenue outwards on the account of salary is 10000 on the account of rent 10,000 so total revenue outwards is 20,000 so 5 lakhs minus 20,000 equals to 4 lakh 80,000 is a current available cash balance in the company hand control a save next we have that check issued for LXD bill rupees 1000 check means here bank check here means what bank so again we are paying right so the same payment voucher on the account of bank the form of payment is that check means here we should select bank and again space we paid towards LXT bill is the LXT bill is created here not yet then press alt plus c LXT bill comes under indirect expenses save the total electricity bill that we paid is rupees 1000 so out of bank initially the bank balance was 5 lakhs out of 5 lakhs we have paid for electricity bill rupees 1000 so the remaining bank balance is at 4 lakh 99000 rupees control a save that's it next we have that purchased dell keyboards 100 quantity at the rate of 150 from mr mohan on credit it means while we are purchasing goods we are not paying the benefit simply we are receiving the goods but we are not paying money it means it's called as on credit credit purchase so when you are purchasing on credit we need to we are receiving the goods right at the same time we need to show a liability we are receiving goods that means we are receiving an asset at the same time we are not paying money right so we also should raise the liability in the balance sheet so in the balance sheet we need to show a stock as asset is increased at the same time the balance sheet in the liability side we need to show as a liability that we need to pay towards mr mohan in the future right so we'll just see how it, it works so now purchased dell keyboards 100 quantity at the rate of 150 from mr mohan so this time we are purchasing on credit so in the book of accounts we need to record mr mohan name under liability in the balance sheet as we are liable to make the payment in the future to mr mohan because we are purchasing on credit on udhar in hindi we used to call the on credit is actually called as udhar udhar means is a loan that means on credit right so we are purchasing right is we are purchasing our good or our property or asset in keyboard business if you purchase a keyboard it will be your product we are purchasing 100 quantity in the concept of to sell to your customers right so it become your product so we are purchasing a product so go go ahead and record it on purchase voucher f9 so supply invoice number the date Achha, i have a doubt that what is the different why there is totally two date buttons it's very quite simple for example just for an example we are receiving a invoice for example we are purchasing goods from delhi right so on delhi the when they are raising the invoice they issued a invoice on 1st april so it uh, to to move the goods from delhi to hyderabad to telangana it is taking around a one day time so the invoice raised on 1st april but i am re i just received a invoice on 2nd april so when i am working on the system here i will be recording the transaction the recording date will be 2nd april so here i just click here f2 the voucher date will be 2nd april but the invoice number and invoice raised date to be entered here so this is the date of recording the date of voucher recording and this is the date of invoice that which is raised so the invoice number and the date of invoice was raised 
I am recording it on 2nd April but the invoice is raised on 1st April to move from Delhi to Hyderabad it has taken one day why not it, it happens often in the business so this is for, this is a, that's the reason we have totally two date columns don't worry sometimes it, 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 it can be a same or it cannot be same so just assume that as of now the both are happening happening on 1st April only that's it and enter and the party to the party if we are paying by if we are paying cash then you select here cash then you purchase the goods that means the goods are coming here and the cash is going out settled but if we are not paying here that means we cannot select cash or bank then what simply we are receiving goods but we are not paying it means we need to show the liability we need to increase the liability in the name of whom in the name of the vendor that who is a person who is selling goods to you right so the vendor name is that mr mohan so the mohan ledger is not yet created all plus see mr mohan mr mohan comes under sundry creditor a person who is selling goods to you on credit is known as sundry creditors so sundry creditors will be treated as a liability in the future we need to pay to them right so mr mohan control your save I'm just skipping control your save control your save and here purchase ledger Achha, we are declaring a liability in the balance sheet correct at the same time we need to declare a purchase ledger in the trading account because we are purchasing so here press all plus C and create a ledger called as purchases purchases comes under purchase account it means the Mohan name will be displayed in the balance sheet under the liability sections and again these purchases will be displayed in the trading account under debit side right so here in the trading account we are purchasing goods and we are not paying the money that's the reason we are showing the Mohan name under the liability so at top in the trading account we received the goods and here we are showing the liability that's it and here next one is that name of product again press space bar and what is the product that we are purchasing we are purchasing dell keyboards so is a dell keyboard is it created or not control e control control c copy and here if the dell keyboard is not yet created then you press alt plus c or click on create so again paste control v paste and uh, under group what is a group again all plus c for example i'm creating here computer what do you what do we call that uh, computer uh, computer parts i don't know though what what we call exactly so computer control a computer parts control a save and again how we how we are going to measure this keyboard is it kg liter number meter centimeter how we are going to measure this keyboard are we selling as a whole one quantity no right so we are going to create a measurement by pressing alt plus c so numbers formal name unique quantity code decimal places zero that's it gst is nothing control is safe so now we are purchasing a dell keyboard in the quantity of 100 quantity at the rate of 150 100 quantity at the rate of 150 so in the future we supposed to pay to mr mohan rupees 15000 control a save yes now if you go to a balance sheet in the balance sheet we can see the liabilities alt plus f1 for detail report current liabilities sundry credit arts is 15,000 that is in the name of Mr. Mohan so we need to pay 15,000 to Mr. Mohan because we have purchased goods that worth 15,000 that's it next one is that the next activity again purchased Dell keyboards 10 quantity at the rate of 140 from Mr. Mohan on cash again we are purchasing from mohan but this time we are paying cash so this time in the balance sheet you no need to increase the liability you decrease your asset that's it in the balance sheet 
instead of increasing the liability we need to decrease the cash because we are paying cash here now what is the available cash right now 4 lakh 80 thousand and what is the liability that we need to pay 15 thousand so we are without touching the liability without increasing liability we are paying from our cash so we need to reduce the cash so this time the entry will get changed so this time again we are purchasing same mr mohan but we no need to declare mr mohan name in our book of accounts in the balance sheet we no need to raise the name mr mohan so instead of selecting mr mohan it's a cash purchase so i'm going to write as cash if you still want to remember the name of the party here you select cash in the place of in the place of party details you can enter manually mr mohan but in the place of party name in the voucher you need to mandatory select cash for our recognition for our recognition purposes in the place of party details you can mention the party name that's it still here it is showing only cash correct yes and purchase and the name of item already we purchased 100 so it is showing the available balance available stock is 100 again we are purchasing more 10 so it is by default it is taking the last cost price but now this time we are purchasing at the rate of 140 so it is replaced 150 by 140 so this time out of 4 like 80,000 cash we have paid 1400 control a save now if you go to balance sheet you can see there is no change in the liability but there is a reduction in our cash out of 4 lakh 80 thousand the 1400 was reduced and it is going to display as 4 lakh 78 thousand 600 in rupees that's it so if it is a credit transaction you need to remember the party if it is a cash transaction remove your cash that's it next entry is that sold 50 quantity sold 50 quantity keyboards to mr kumar at the rate at the rate of rupees 240 on credit again this time we are selling the goods this time we are selling the goods but not receiving money so in the sales voucher press f8 for sales in the sales voucher if we are receiving cash then you increase your asset of cash if you are not receiving cash then you increase the receivable asset that in the name of sundry debtors under the assets section right so here is kumar ledger is created no not it then you press alt plus c mr kumar kumar is our customer a person who is buying goods from us on credit so he is liability to pay us right so we need to collect so under sundry debtors he will be treated as asset to us control your save control your save control your save and here as like we are declaring purchase in the trading account we also need to declare sales in the trading account so all plus c sales sales account control your save the quantity we are selling the product of uh, dell keyboard 50 quantity of see we purchased 100 plus 10 total 110 out of this 110 we are selling now we are selling now out of 110 we are selling now a 50 quantity the rate is 240 and now in the future we should collect rupees 12,000 from Mr. Kumar control a save so we are not receiving cash if you go to balance sheet and press alt f1 the same cash is available for 78600 but additionally we have increased a receivable asset in the name of sundry debtors that is debited to Mr. Kumar so in the from Kumar we need to collect rupees 12,000 in the future that's it and next I'll just go to watch us again next we have something called as again sold rupees sold 110 it's not 110 it, it is actually uh, only 10 sold 10 quantity keyboards to mr kumar at the rate of 210 on cash so this time while we are selling the goods 
we collected spot cash so you no need to raise the receivable asset you directly declare received asset that is cash and if you want to still here in the place of party name declare cash if you want to still remember the party name if you want to print the party details on the invoice here you selected cash right so if you in the place of party details if you select kumar kumar name and details will be printed on the invoice that's it but here you should select only cash right and we are selling so out of 110 we already sold 50 the remaining stock is 60 out of this 60 we are going to sell a 10 quantity so here 10 and it is again taking the last sale price is 240 but the current sale price is 210 so replace 240 with the 210 now 478 600 plus we collected a cash of 2100 control a save so it will be again back to go to balance sheet alt f1 here we can see this time there is no change in kumar amount but there is an increment in cash account that's for uh, that's it for and uh, next we'll understand the next one is that rupees 10,000 pay to mr mohan through check yes we are liable to pay to mohan the rupees of 15,000 we purchased 100 right we purchased 100 we purchased 100 number of dell keyboards at the rate of 15 so that means total 15,000 out of 15,000 liability we are paying now rupees 10,000 in the form of check right so what is the bank balance available 4 lakh 99,000 bank balance is available out of 5 lakhs we paid for electricity bill 1,000 the remaining bank balance is 4 lakh 99,000 from this 4 lakh 99,000 we are paying a 10,000 to mr mohan we are paying right so press escape and go to accounting voucher we are paying right so go to payment voucher the payment voucher how we paid in the form of bank to whom we paid we paid to mr mohan so how much we supposed to pay total 15,000 out of 15,000 we are going to pay now you can simply skip all these things out of 15,000 we paid 10,000 so the remaining balance is 5,000 out of 499 we paid 10 so the remaining bank balance is 489 control a save and if you go to balance sheet alt f1 here our liability reduced even our bank balance also reduced so both are match again next one is that rupees 12,000 received from mr kumar by cash Re re received rupees 12,000 from mr kumar by cash yes we sold goods to kumar for we sold goods to kumar here we sold 50 into 240 on credit we sold on credit right so if you open control and calculator 50 into 240 we sold to mr kumar for the rupees of 12,000 on credit so now this time we are receiving total 12,000 so in the future we cannot observe Sunday data in the balance sheet because there is no receivable amount. The amount will be received after passing this voucher. So go to accounting voucher. We are receiving, right? So pass a receipt voucher. How we are receiving space in the form of cash. What is the available cash balance? 4,80,700. So now we are receiving rupees of 12,000. So from Mr. Kumar. From Kumar, we should collect rupees 12,000. How much we collected same 12,000 so in the future there is no amount to be receivable from mr kumar kumar account is closed control a save if you go to balance sheet the receivable uh, receivable asset is converted into received asset that's it of course we'll record bad debts in the coming sessions don't worry next we have the purchased office furniture rupees 10,000 by cash from Bantia furniture Achha. when we were purchasing Dell keyboards we have recorded in F9 purchase voucher and when we were recording again one more again we recorded F9 purchase voucher when we are selling because we are selling a product so we recorded F8 again we are selling so again we recorded F8 but this time we are purchasing other than a product 
if it is a product then you can record in purchase voucher or in the sales voucher by declaring the name of product the quantity rate but this time we are purchasing an asset so if it is an asset if it is not a good if it is not a service then you record it on journal so in the journal we need to apply a rule a golden rules of account like personal account real account and the nominal account so we will observe now so when we are purchasing an office furniture is the office furniture is coming in or going out uh, let me remind you the uh, golden rules personal rule debit the receiver credit the giver so office furniture is not a person so personal rule will not apply next one is that a real account a real account the real account is related to assets and property office furniture is a property and asset so it related to real account what real account rule says debit what comes in and credit what goes out so here uh, when we are purchasing office furniture the office furniture is coming in so debit office furniture the office furniture ledger is not yet created then all plus c office office furniture comes under fixed asset so here debit what is coming in that is that will be debited so the office furniture value is 10000 so office furniture is coming but which is going out is we are paying to the bond a company is we are paying through cash then you select cash if the cash is not available you don't worry the cash is not available but if you type cash it will come so if you are paying through cash then you select cash if you are paying through bank then you type your bank but here we are not paying through bank we are paying we are not paying through cash then we need to increase the creditors liability so here we purchased by cash Achha. so here is we are paying through cash or is we are paying through bank if it is cash payment then you simply uh, declare as cash payment so here the asset is coming the office furniture is coming in and cash is also an asset what is going out furniture asset is coming in and the cash asset is going out that's it control a save and next again purchased uh, a dell computer purchased a dell computer for office usage from bond from the same company we are purchasing but this time on credit we are not paying cash so again all plus c dell computer is not a product it's your fixed asset control you save rupees for 25,000 to all plus C measures bond yeah. furniture comes under sundry creditors a person who is selling you the things on credit we are liable to make the payment in the future so new reference nothing just skip all these things amount 25,000 right so here Dell computer is coming in and cash is not going out so we are raising the liability instead of reducing cash we are increasing the liability that's it control a save so if you go to balance sheet we can find out the liability towards out of 15,000 we paid 10,000 the remaining liability of Mohan is 5,000 now there is a new liability which is arised when we are buying a, a Dell computer that is 25,000 so the total liability towards sundry creditors is 30,000 at the same time we have collected the office furniture at 10,000 and the Dell computer is 25,000 so this is how simple it is and you can check the profit and loss account alt f1 here we have purchased 16,400 the sales 14,100 then if you go to balance sheet and there is a profit and loss account as, uh, as of now the, this time we have we are under net loss don't worry because we have made we have a profit of 5,000 but the expenses are more than income so it is showing you a net loss of 15,845 so this is how simple it is and if you want to review the total number of transactions that whatever you recorded just go to a day book in the day book you can review all the voters that you recorded on that specific date if you want to view a report for 2nd April you click on date and again simply enter 2nd so on 2nd, on 2nd April there is no transaction again click on date then enter 1-4 1st April so on 1st April I have recorded this many transactions see you thank you